from this one. Renegades are not in a hurry, not pleased to hunt him down, but they have to go. 40 seconds and four players here. Are they going to run boost through? It's desperate. Yeah, I mean, they're hoping for a way in. They're hoping for like a, an over peak and over swing. But How? Finally. Watson, yeah, finally going to get cleared out. It felt like it was a long time coming. And he's done a good job of at least slowing this down, right? There's no momentum in this B play, but still, what? oh my goodness, one second. Liaz has turned it on its head. It's just Emo running in. He's a little, little shaky, a little scared here in the 1v2. Two bullets, they both oh. got a count and none of them do. Liaz with a wonderful pistol to turn that with the bomb being spotted with three more players being seen. So they'll walk back, eh? And this is fine. They don't have the smokes for a wall, however. So got to duel their way into the bomb site right now. Calix will meet them there. Doesn't hit the smoke. That's important. They don't know his close. Deeg up in the face. Takes one out of hands. Looks for another. Very shaky. Mac 10 out now. Renegades are running out of time. Calix trying to do what he can with the Mac 10. It's only it's only the double over on shorts. Antares is getting chased Ooh. down as well. But he's got oh. support from Waxic, and he's gonna switch to Renegades. And I mean, already this is like a bit of a rough spot to be, and you're gonna have the util to try and launch a kind of mini exec as this goes in, right? You've got that wall of smoke now of one of them, but it only offers a, a path up through short, and this is something Eternal Fire no. And they're not really concerned with peaking ramp at this point. All their attention is on Love this that. short side, and the util's done a great job of slowing down this plan. Now they move in on oh. the smoke fade. They're already up in the face of the Renegades, and suddenly it's only Inns left standing. Oh, Court trying to go back, and Hat's now at ramp very, very low on HP. Just slipped under the radar. Wow. He's going to get spammed out by x -Floud. I think Renegades bled about as much as they could out of that round. Got blinded, and shot Sicko through the ladder wall. Oh, <laughs> the nade. You can put in Liaz low as well. This util is dirty. They're going to flash peek for the boost. And, oh, there's some dead men around the corner. Zantaris gets two. He stays on it as well. He doesn't want to cut dry with a double, but he will die as a result. They know Emo's still here, stuck in short, and he will be able to get down into his cubby, he causing a commotion the with 30 ramp. seconds. Hang on a moment. This has gotten very, very weird. Emo's now in the back line, playing around the bomb. He's not even aggressing. He's not looking to fight this. Renegades have got to go back and clear out this player in the back line. <laughs> but it's not just Emo. x pushed through B and is now waiting here with him. Even though you've dealt with the first, you're still screwed. Shot in the back. Wow. It's a lovely little bait and switch over at the ramp, just playing around. Another flash. It's coming over. Emo, give it a go. Nades out. They weren't ready for the second time. Liaz will trade it though. That will be temptation in and of itself. Renegades a four on three. They've not had these options on an execute just yet. Kalix gets pushed forward by Molly's, but this could be fine. The smoke is good for him. They're going through it right now. He is on the side. He is on the edge and they are going to be knocked off too. And almost the third pistol out with a missed orb shot. Alistair will recover, but there's simply no time. 15 on the clock and two up close. He's got to hit some bangers and it's not to be eternal fire. Keep it clean again. Crunch, and it's going to be a cruncher right hat on his own. Core, Emo dropped off. He got impatient. He might get everything for it. Two kills and then the third swing. Sicko gets shut down and Renegades are nowhere near that bomb. Alex has hit this time, hit this window. That's a freebie. And they, it's feeling like one of these games where Eternal Fire, they feel like they're in the heads of Renegades. And Renegades feel that as well, right? Like, think about that round there. They got hard counted trying something for like the first time, really. Yeah. Like this triple mid play, not something we've seen out of them apart from like the Eco Tech 9 rushes. Liaz gonna die pushing out into middle. And so it's 9-1. Yeah, Eternal Fire, man. It, it's so funny, like even that smoke, they're all still available for Eternal Fire. These dunks could be a problem. In they go. It chips away again. Two HEs, a Molly to follow. Everyone's in the red, but Alistair and he needs to step up. He had to offer his off up to literally anyone at this point. Woxie gets hurt on that Molly. Oh, the bomb goes back. 20 seconds. He's got it. And Emo hits two. Xantaras has cleaned up the A site in the meantime. And you're just fighting. You're just playing for stats, for kills, for glory. And you're going to get none of it. Liaz in a 1v3. And it's unwinnable, safe to say. Bomb is below. And so he'll just take the kill that he gets, but that's still 11 to 1 for Eternal Fire. That hesitation, that rotate back, dear oh dear, that that's left Renegades in the dirt. With the flashbang, Alistair lobbing that over. Liaz now takes a swing. He's seen Emor over on default. Nice. The spam is good. Liaz is pulling this one back. Him and Sicko with a killer piece have managed to make this a three on three. The 
nades, Harry. The nades have always been the problem. The mollies, two of them, and HE as well. This orb's even holding the cross. On the spot, Woxie can instantly lob a Molotov up. He's in the position for a lineup, but he wants to get that instant pixel shot off first. There it goes. Molly in. Alistair will get With the plot, but the nade, nade well. could be a problem. Only just sneaking out in time. And again, Renegades, their health bars are never full. Always in the red. And maybe better off dead. Kalix will die. The Xantaras is still giving it all he's got. Leah's up here on double. He's the problem. He's the troublemaker. He's the guy who could put this second round on the board. He might have to. Everyone else is low. He's losing his teammates left and right. And now they know about him. They've got him pinned in. He's not going to go swinging. Not yet. And Ooh. then finally a one for one. Only Woxic left standing. Low HP on Sicko. The bomb planted for him. It's a tap out of Woxic. Sicko's going to take the swing, but a missed flick. And that might have sealed his fate. He taps it again. He might get the kill, but it's a second round for Renegades finally coming through the pipeline. Whether that was purpose or not, they show their fingers and he fires off. Now they know the orbs here. When they found that info, they have off and left. And so again, Renegades, they leave Woxic in middle. They want to go back to a bomb site. This spam is important. They would love a molly to clear out X-Flower, but they don't have it. He can hear micro jumps, gotta be very careful. Who will be the first to fight? X-File flashed over the top and Hats is blind. It's beautiful again for Eternal Fire and they slink out a man up. Renegades are just gonna be left in like a last ditch attempt to hit this B site, right? Round 15, they're running out of time. They got 25 seconds as they try to go. They got no utility outside of one smoke. It's gonna get lobbed over with the flash. Ooh. And they're churned up. They are melted. x Flower with a lovely little sight hold. Gonna close it out with going 0-2. They need this round and they need to start building upon it. The awareness, man. Eternal Fire have got a Molotov in the pistol. They've got a Molotov, but they're not lobbing it onto the sandbags. Instead, they're going to use it on the boost. And so Hat, that was the chance. That was the opportunity, but it sailed on past him. And now Eternal Fire own this A bomb site. It's so clean, isn't it? So methodical. And Eternal Fire just uh, annoying pistol to play against. Ins tries to get aggressive to take that early space, and he gets late peek down on the ramp. Retake is on. They've got a kit available. Flashes are going in, but no smoke for that sight. Emor will fall. Zantaris just runs in, looking to duel, looking to deathmatch, and he'll get away with another headshot as Alistair's left in a 1v3, shut out by Eternal Fire. Mark, if they're, it's pretty light as these go over. They do damage on the two Ooh. players at top ramp, but everyone else is churned up. There was a, I don't know how. Just off of the aggro, he must have run into it. That's crazy. But it was never going to amount to much, was it? Liaz on alert, and he will at least get a Mac 10, but that's of little value, and Renegades will be falling short in this one as well. The force buy doesn't do him justice. Eternal Fire, this is dominant, Harry. We've had some pretty one-sided games today, right? NA obviously got uh, battered and bruised in those opening matchups, but this is something else entirely. Um, yeah, uh, dude, like we, we said we wanted a lot out of Liaz. We were going to need that. We're getting that. He's yeah. got 14, <laughs> and the rest of his team have 18 combined. So, like, he's doing everything he can. I, I think it, it's a shame that you're not going to have more rounds to play with, really. Like, we never even get to gauge the Renegade CT side. For all we know, they could have the best CT side going in the world on Vertigo, and we wouldn't even get to see it because they've had to force up into this but they will be running in, smoking the Molotovs. Emor checking close, but Alistair gets away with one. There's a couple of kills out of the site players. Alistair just continuing to run wild. Farm up that old money, perhaps. It's Kalik and, uh, Kalik and Woxic left up, but the aggression doesn't stop. Hats needs to look down, but Kalix fires right back up, and Eternal Fire want to get weird in this mid-round. The bomb may be loose, but they fancy their odds. I wonder if they're going to go together here. It looked like Alex wanted to go up ramp, but now he's moved back in to join Woxie. Ooh, actually dropping down, looking for that little nade line of that body. Only one out of Woxic before he's traded, and now Kalix at this point, you know, one versus three. It's not impossible. It's not unheard of. That bomb is out on an island, though. He's going to get given this first fight, and if he got that, maybe the ball could get rolling. On the back of missing that opportunity, he's going to have to go forth and create his own fortunes here. Up through the short side, in he comes. Double layered peak on this swing. Oh, it's close. That is almost oh, the no. transfer. Kalix, you weren't meant to win this round. Three to his name now. And just Liaz left to beat. Hello. Oh, he's trying to hide, but he's gone. He's deleted. And Kalix will close that out in the 1v3.
I don't know what was going on there. Did Lia was Lias okay? He's just staring into the wall. Maybe he thought Kalix wasn't walking up on him or something of the sort. But regardless of that, it's a sickening round to close out a very quick and easy map for Eternal Fire. That's got to feel good after fighting tooth and nail against Bad News Eagles, going the distance, 30 rounds, not able to close it, and then coming in like this. I mean, that's a statement piece for Eternal Fire. They're here to play. We're seeing new things on those CT sides. Those nades were incredible all game long, and Renegades never really understood it. They never really got a handle over it, even when they were finally given the A-Rap control.